Hello, Hulkling fam. Um, so we usually make alls to get resources, but a lot of us are confused about how to do it and what the process is and what the benefits are. So I'm going to try and explain to you in an updated video. I'm making alts right now. I'm making them for corn dog who needs alts to cover up some area, but I'm also using them for the benefit thing. So I'm going to show you how to make one, what the benefits are. And yeah, if there are any questions, I'm hoping that this will clear them up. Um, do not make fun of me and uh, ignore all the sounds you hear in the background. It's the AC and stuff. So here we go. Uh, I'm done with this all. So consider this your main account. You're in your main account and you go and to the settings and in the settings you basically choose invite friends you get this code you copy this code you won't have to copy it again and again after copying this code you go to use friend code only do this if you have a proper bound account don't do this without a bound account your account should be bound to facebook the game center whatever so what i did was i pasted the invite code and once i did that i am now being taken and i will have a new key in our kingdom i have sort of forgotten the uh, number that our kingdom is 115 117 something or the other so basically uh, we're bundling up in winterfell the thing with alls is that you get gold the most productive time to make alls is when wb fucks up and they give us gold and um, also when there are research or uh, construction events going on what you can do is in an alt it's really easy to just um, construct and research really quickly and with that you can have you can finish the tiers very quickly and have a lot of gold the gold you use to i'm skipping this the gold you use to basically buy whatever resources you need in your main account and you can buy any resource it's not just food or wood i know that's the only ones that show up on top but those are not the only ones you can buy i'll show you i'm gonna buy iron with this account because corn dog needs iron so here we go first step to get an atp all you have to do is upgrade your keep gets upgraded and you get an atp it's right here see sorry uh there we go next i go and gather up these 200 coins for these i need to join somebody now remember if you join someone and your um keep i mean your alt is being created for the express purpose of actually putting the keep next to you you should know that whoever you just joined that allegiance can right now see your address they can see your cards so what you're gonna do now is i got those 200 gold coins right so i'm gonna just leave this leash i don't need a leash anymore and that's it no i don't want to quit i haven't finished yet so now i have that 300 gold up top and i'm gonna get more from here as you can see, I'm claiming, moving forward, claiming, and right now there's a little less gold, but this was really amazing to do right after Kingdom Merge happened. So now I have a thousand gold. I'm going to buy um, iron for corn dog, like I said. I went to the store, or rather I'm going to the store, and um, I see what I can buy. I wish I had 500 more coins, and then I would have bought 40k are indirectly but i can't do that now here we go one two three four five i just bought 40k iron and now i gotta go into my items remember this step don't forget this or you'll regret it so no i didn't buy the fifth one sometimes it does that um there's a bit of a lag see now there we go um and we take all this 20k iron 
when Condog hits it, he's not gonna get 20k though. He's gonna the the protected limit. You can check it here in the storehouse. The protected limit is 12.2k. So he's gonna get the rest of it. I'm really bad at math, but I think that's 18. Point, sorry, 8.8k, which is not a lot, but sorry, dude. I tried. So, anyways, uh, when you have a construction thing going on, you can, you know, upgrade your keep. You can upgrade all those things. You can, if there's a training event going on, you can have war camps here with a two-level, um, with a two-level keep. You're allowed war camps, so you can do that. But right now, I have everything I need, and I'm gonna go. So now, uh, what I'm gonna do is, if you have your location written down on pen and paper, which I recommend. You can go to the map and just put in your location and go there. But what I am doing right now is, since Korn's on, a, uh, on an SOP, I'm just going to do this thing. That's the SOP he's at. If you're creating alts to cover up area, which I'm doing right now, uh, it's also pretty simple to do. Like, for example, I just made him clean this area up, so I'm gonna... So, basically, I can put my guys here, or rather here, which I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put this keep here so that nobody else can port in. But, basically, you guys get the idea. Now, if you need the bubble on like I do, this is good. I'm, I'm ready to leave. But if you're going to attack this alt for resources, for that iron, for example, uh, you need to hit somebody with this alt. You can't scout until you're a four level keep. So what we can do is we can attack ourselves. If, if I need it right now, I would attack Corndog just to with like one troop or whatever. I mean, it's a 24 level keep. I could put all my men in there. There's just a hundred of them. But it's basically uh, the way to go to make sure that the bubble is down. If the bubble is not down, of course, you can't hit yourself. And then all this time was wasted. So that's it. It's done. The alt is right where I want it. And uh, it's ready to be hit. Ta-da! Hope that made sense. And hope I didn't sound like a lunatic. I'm going to make another, you know, if... if I did sound like a lunatic, so here's hoping I don't have to make another. <laughs>